Alright, alright, alright. Welcome back, everybody. Hope everybody's looking forward to the weekend. And we... Going to... Uh, I can't say that we'll finish today. I don't know how much more I have left. But we are going to... Uh, give it the old college try here. At, uh... Yeah, seeing, uh... How much more story there is for, uh... Uh, for Don Trail. And might do a little bit of farming. Um, as you can see, I've, you know, put, uh, put a little bit of work into, uh, I was thinking about trying to, uh, level up another character to, uh, uh, to potentially not miss out on, uh, like the XP for the MSQ because, uh, um, I'm, I'm a little over leveled for the MSQ, but, um, however, I did not, uh, did not quite have enough time, so that did not happen. However, as always, uh, we're going to start off with, uh, Something very important here. I won't even lie, I do miss <laughs> every once in a while, but I do enjoy, uh, um... Oh wait, no, that's seven, that's awful. Okay, um... Okay, well, that's still better. Okay. Uh, that shouldn't be bad. 1322. 22 is not great. That's worse. Okay. Bat in a thousand here today. Uh, 12. 12 isn't great either. Um, yeah, that one, that one was rough. Okay. Okay, turn first. Should get me a tad bit closer to uh, where I'm going here. No, not that. Um, okay. Alrighty. Now. Uh, no. There we go. Yeah, Alright. I gotta say, I do like the, uh, the way this place looks. Okay, and all right, let us continue with Scales of Blue. A place called True View in the eastern sector. To get used to it, they're actually kind of fun. Yeah, okay, I've already gone on one. Still a little nervous with the whole like you know potentially getting like annihilated thing. What was this? Oh, it's, oh, god! They have ads in my game. Okay, great. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Yeah, I may as well explore a bit. Go over there. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm all just a child. Alright, bye buddy.
あ。All right. Good talk. Resemblance to Zorolja. Oh, yeah, I can't tell. It's a kid. Uh, the blue scales of a Bonewa with the features of a Hobigo. Can't be a coincidence. Oh. Wouldn't do to leave such a small child on the road. Let's go after them. Yes, we shall chase a small child. A small child in, <laughs> in, an, in someone else's city. What could go wrong? Probably won't need these, but when I have it, I'm going to do that. Hey, okay, looks like there's shops or something that are closed right now. Or I shouldn't say there's shops that look like they're uh, got shelves and stuff over there. NVIDIA RTX 9000 over there, holy. Oh. Okay, so here are the shops, okay. And more ads. This is true view, I'm not sure what I'm looking at, but it does look lively. Yeah, there we go, that's the RTX 9000. Only one that isn't lit up, not open for business at the moment, I guess. Sure. <laughs> I didn't see you there. Hi? Don't mean you any harm, we just want to talk. Uh, don't you think they run off when we approach only to suddenly reappear? Could it be that they want to take us somewhere? All right, lead the way. Can I not talk yet? I that I'm confused about that. Skilled Habigo child. Come on, we'll accompany you. Begin moving towards destination. Okay. Sure. Hey, lead the way, little buddy. Dang it, I missed an etherate. What are these drink machines? Eon Stein. Oh, okay. Hi. Is this where we were supposed to go? I mean, it looks like a bar? This place, if you're meant to relax here, it isn't working for me. <laughs> Doesn't have one? He'll only talk if he's completely comfortable with you. After a fashion, but never mind that. How about 
What's your whistle? Durable. So you are, it's on the house. I can recommend our special, Her Majesty. I'll prepare uh, one without liquor for the boy, too. Oh, so you're with... Okay. <laughs> oh, did the, uh, the child actually lead us where we're supposed to go? Okay, that's funny. Go to Big Ta... Oh, Tassos. I thought it said Big Tacos. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I don't think he's in a mood to talk, so I can tend the bar with me. Okay. Turn for the strange, yeah. This doesn't have suspicious written all over it. Alright. You take care, little buddy. Is this fun place meant to be? No one way to find out. Okay. Uh, I'm need to. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave the armor then. Gives you teeth. Areas off limits. Told us about you. Follow the corridor. Head to the room at the end. Let's go. Oh, catch me by surprise. Okay. All right, big tacos. Wonderful. They're here. Oh, hey. We've only just arrived ourselves. Okay. Amazing. So what's oh, so they have like a three D printer there? I bid you welcome to the back room, Oblivion's humble headquarters. Okay. A hideout tucked behind the drinking hole brings back memories, doesn't it? A little bit. Our members here are mainly creators and adapters. That is scientists and. Engineers who specialize in electro. Okay. They use their skills to provide support to our field operatives. Okay. Genel, Shale, be so kind as to give our oh my God, Genel. <laughs> well, there's provisioning. Gotta have supplies to fight the good fight, ain't ya? Luckily, we got the tools to craft most of what we need. Gathering intelligence is another vital aspect of our work. Everkeep's core system is a veritable treasure trove of information. You just need to know how to get in and find it. Okay. We also handle surveillance and communications, watching the enemy's movements and coordinating our own. That sort of thing. And among all our activities, we spend a fair bit of effort investigating preservation. Okay. What was that, uh, what was that look we just had where someone looked like they knew what Kryle's, they recognized Kryle's earring? The organization credited with laying the foundations of electrope technology. Preservation. From the sole management system to ever keeps design, they're behind just about everything you see here. It'd be no exaggeration to say they made this realm what it is. Okay. But their magnum opus was without a doubt the power which was used to join Alexandria to Tural. Interdimensional fusion. Hang on, that one sounds important. Said power isn't unlike my summoning technique and the magic within Asm's crystal. Oh. Yet... 
though the effect is localized, to be able to fuse realities. Even with my knowledge, I struggle to conceive how it could be possible. Yeah. Incidentally, the founders of our group, a husband and wife, were members of preservation at one point. Oh. That they opposed the fusing of worlds, and so defected in order to prevent it. Okay. While not entirely unexpected, given what we have seen, this is still quite the revelation. By the by, that's an interesting earring you have there. A novel way of carrying a data storage device. Oh, you didn't know. Okay. Well, as a precautionary measure against machine infiltration, we scan everyone as they enter. And when we scanned you, we detected a small quantity of electrope. Though it's been dressed up, that earring is a storage device and no mistake. Bought it from a shop here, did you? No, it, it, it isn't bought, but inherited. Lot. So these people sent you through the portal along with the earring. Do you know aught of them? Listen, Kyle. The husband and wife who founded our order. Guessing mom and dad. It's believed that they were Malala. That's the, uh, okay. That's Lala Fells from our river, so. Evidence at present, we can't rule out the possibility that they were your parents, or perhaps close relations. Oh, okay, or but close relations. Because they were the very individuals who spearheaded the research into interdimensional fusion. As traitors to preservation, they were relentlessly pursued. Oh, so. If they had a child they feared they could keep safe, entrusting her to the people of another world might have been their best option. Oh, okay, yeah, that does track. My parents, the founders of Oblivion. Tell me everything you know about them, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant, anything and everything. We don't even know their names, I'm afraid. In a bid to elude preservation's agents, we suspect they erased all trace of themselves. Oh, That sucks. I'm sorry we couldn't be of more help. If you're interested, though, you're welcome to review our accumulated data. Can they yes. scan the earring? As an individual and member of my order, both, I wish to learn as much as possible. I should also like to peruse the data. Where the joining of realities is concerned, I may well be of service. Of course. Feel free to peruse to your heart's content. Thank you. I love this character. If you like, I can examine your earring. I have to say, the prospect that it belonged to our founders has me itching to take a look. Okay. game got there only slightly before or after I did. <laughs> I dare say we have enough eyes to pour over your records. Is there any other way we might be productive? Mm, not right now. We're still waiting for Zeralja to make the next move. In that case, Alice, would you mind accompanying me? Gladly. <laughs> It up again. Uh, never a moment's peace. Pay him no mind. I don't. Oi, you two there. Why don't you give me a hand, would you? Don't matter who. Uh, I just remembered I have matters to discuss with Shay. Thanks, bud. <laughs> huh. 
helping another one of you buggers. Okay. Ooh, I'm peeking my microphone a fair bit. I gotta be careful with that. As long as he doesn't have me fetching stuff to make pots. Uh, see me passion spilling over happens when you put your heart and soul to your craft, you know. Hey. And not to be weird or nothing, but I felt a sense of kinship when I saw you as if we've met in another life. Okay. Yeah. I wrote as I was saying, I need someone to lend me a hand. Slept for two nights. Can't afford to, though. Let me fetch... Fetch me my favorite energy tonic. Okay. Voucher's good for two cans. Old vending machine. For, oh, can't get it from any old vending machine. Talk to a bloke named Philomon. Tending bar out on the main strip. Okay. Going on a fetch quest. Like I said, at least he doesn't have me helping him make pots. Okay, so True View is like the street. Okay, they definitely feel like more more like Ethernet shards here. Uh, I'm gonna grab that one too. Just so that I can. Gets me one step closer to uh, being finished. Oh. Okay, off we go. Yeah, I gotta say, leave it to Final Fantasy XIV to be able to put a place like this in and not have it feel out of place. Okay, he's literally in my outfit. That's hilarious. Okay, so what is he giving me? Like, Red Bull, basically? Like, yours is formulated for beginners. Okay. Not contraband or anything, so you won't run afoul of authorities. But if the Rodinia Consortium was made aware of the special selection, bad for business. Okay, wait, what? Beginner's energy tonic. Drain the tonic in a single pull. So you do it, your pulse ought to quicken soon, after which you'll start to see everything more clearly. A roaring surge of energy, growing a pair of rainbow wings. Haven't carked it up. Oh, we haven't up and carked it. It's long with you, okay. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Okay. I went. S I, I went Super Saiyan for a minute. That was. Okay. I don't think. Uh, I don't think we should be drinking these there, bud. All right, come on, tacos. Let me back in. Full strength energy tonic, oh Jesus. Oh good lord. It's a stuffy. Well, like it to blow the cobwebs right out of the creek. Big kaboom. Okay. Awaken some feral in me, it does. Transforms me to a remorseless beast. Won't stop till it's done what it's born to do. Sorry for sending you off on an errand. Can't concentrate with the tonic. Okay. 
Better get back to it. Those weapons and tools ain't gonna make themselves. Okay. I've been meaning to ask about that Mamulja child. Could he be? Yes. In all likelihood, he's Zorulja's son. Oh. Okay. So you think so too. But what is he doing here? He was abandoned, the poor dear. We found him in the drift downs a few years ago. Okay. <sighs> to think he cast aside his child. We can't say for certain who he was born to or why he was on his own. But he's a blue-scaled Hubigo, and Zoralja is the only other one around. Okay, that's just a dick move. That being the case, everyone assumes they're father and son. Even the boy has put two and two together. That's, yeah. This all happened when he was very little, so he has no recollection of his parents. <sighs> it breaks my heart to think of it. Dang. What's his name? Oh. It was my hope that he'd grow up to be a man of principle, like his grandfather. Ah. <laughs> it's a fine name. Uh, I should mention that the boy is a little unusual. Oh. At first, I intended to raise him as my own. But just when I thought he was warming to me, he suddenly disappeared. Oh. We searched high and low for several days. And where should he turn up? But in the wilds near Everkeep. What? It's a miracle he didn't fall prey to fiends. See? That's another unusual thing. Creatures don't seem to attack him. He could pick his way through the Thunder Yards as if he were on a stroll. Huh. On making inquiries, we learned that he had been living alone and receiving food from the people of the outskirts. Okay. This became something of a pattern. We track him down and bring him back, only for him to disappear again within a matter of days. Okay. He would return to the wilds without fail, and once again rely on the kindness of strangers to survive. Huh. Finally, I took the hint and left him be, giving him the solitude he prefers, and lending a hand only when he explicitly asks. Okay, that's weird. If Gulucha is Zorolja's child, that makes him my nephew. Assuming he's willing, I'd be glad to take him in like Papa did for me. But seeing as I'm here to kill his father, I don't know if it would be right. <laughs> Who was that? Oh dear. It's Galulja. Don't tell me he heard everything. Well, probably. I'm going after him. I need to explain. Wait, Lamaji. I understand your haste, but it'd be best to coordinate a search. Takiwa, do you have any idea where he might go? There's no telling, I'm afraid. He could as easily be outside the tower as here in Solution 9. Mm -hmm. If those who can fight would search below, my mother and I will scour the district. That makes sense. Sounds like a plan. Let's get to it. Okay. Still haven't been reintroduced to uh, real mom, though. Okay. Don't need those.
Pardon me. Okay. Uh, pardon me. You ought to have the tower. We need to find him as quick as possible. Used to getting around on his own. Still no place for a child. Kryle and Raha continue reviewing the data. Three of us devote to ourselves. Okay. Head to the base of the tower. Make our way from there. I think I can use the uh, the Ethernet to get back out there. Okay, not quite, but that also might be because I uh, don't have everything unlocked. This place is just about big enough that I almost wish, uh, I don't care, um, I uh, almost wish we could have mounts. Okay. Side, where do we begin? Caught sight of him. Where nearby? Head beyond the big wall. Okay, so where am I going? Okay, out that way. Yeah, I still think that says detective turret. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I'm lucky that worked. Otherwise I would have slammed into the gate there. Location. to be in the area, I sight of a group of people short distance. The drift downs. Salvage yard isn't here. Oh, you know the boy. Have you seen him? Oh, it's a weird crystal in her head. No offense taken, Tapu. My eyes may be useless, but my ears are sharper for it. Recognize people by their footfalls. Okay. Didn't come this way. Where in the world could he be? I don't know your voices. Who are you, Ghoul John? Why do you search for him? Family. We're not related by blood. His father is my brother. I only just met him. We haven't had a chance to talk properly. I'm about to do something that'll make him hate me, and I wanted a chance to explain. Your brother, and that means you're... I woke up my power of resolve to the old I'm gonna bring my jaw to account for, mur for murdering our people and our father. And all is said and done, John may want nothing uh, to do with me. Nonetheless, I've always considered him family. Uh, I'll always be there for him, and I want him to know that. Tears you apart to do what you must. Whoever learned your voice tells the tale. And it's... Oh, th uh... He has a place... Uh... Th that is as close to a home as he knows. Okay, so he lives out here. Find and bear your heart to him. Uh, should he in turn bear his heart to you, accept and respect his wishes as Queen's Fiend respected uh, ours when she granted us a place in her realm? I will, no worry. 
What do you mean when you say Sveen respected your wishes? Out of concern for our well-being, Her Majesty had urged us to reside inside Everkeep. When we declined, uh, not only did she gracefully accept our decision, she granted us the necessary supplies to make our home here. Since then, she has paid us regular visits to see how we fare. Sounds like Sveen, all right. Thanks for telling me about Ghoul Jaw. Uh, find a good talk. Continue south. Keep your eyes peeled. Okay. Away you go. Spire of Trial? Okay. Huh, okay. Can't get close enough to that. Oh well. Okay. It's a large bird. Yeah, no. I am not fighting the uh, Power Rangers elephant, thank you. an old town and uh something and some sort of lightning nexus over there it's half submerged you've seen so far it's more charlian so he's among the ruins Okay. Caught a glimpse, no mistaking tiny silhouette. Be a disaster if a building collapsed with him inside. Yeah. that. Okay, let's go find ourselves a child. Let's also avoid the giant birds. Defective sentry. Oh. Oh wait, where am I going? Yeah. Archeo Alexandru. Okay. This area with the canals and the debris uh, make it hard to get a good view. Split up and search. Uh, if you could Head into the canals, I'll make my way down the streets. Watch from a distance and gets to his destination. Wouldn't want to startle him. Oh my god, it's another fucking stealth quest. Are you fucking serious, game? Fuck's sakes. <laughs> I hate these quests.
Okay. Okay, I don't have anywhere to hide up here though. Okay, that one wasn't nearly as bad. Okay. He's come a long way on such short legs. It's a relief he didn't get hurt. What's here, I wonder? So he's looking after those little ones. Roger. Not another step. A century? Run, Galuja, run! You know the boy. Who are you? And what do you want? Oh. My name is Wuklamat. And I've come to talk to Gulurja. Is that so? Okay. I'm sorry if I scared you. I want to get to know you better. That's all. And you, my boy. Do you wish to speak with them? Who is this all of a sudden? Them talking. She said she's going to kill my father. Villains! I will deal with them forthwith. Oh, great. But. I. I want to get to know her, too. Oh, buddy. I see. If that is your desire, then I shall stand aside. Okay, who is this? All right, then. Let's talk, you and I. Luck. But, uh, who's the ancient-looking and articulate machine? <laughs> if I look ancient, it is because I am. 
This has been my vessel for no less than 380 years. Okay. Vessel? Oris is my friend. When I was hungry and sad, he came and looked after me. Otis. He cooks for me and, and teaches me all kinds of things. Oh. Like how to read and write and and not be noticed by dangerous creatures. Okay. This machine cooks for you. And teaches you about fiends. What is he exactly? Huh. Ah, how remiss of me. I had neglected to introduce myself. Okay. Sir Otis Valona, Lord Captain of the Royal Knights of Alexandria. At your service. Wait, what? You're Captain of the Knights? Hang on. Functioning for nearly 400 years. Yeah, you seem different from the other machines. <laughs> and there I thought it was Gululja with whom you wish to speak. Not that I'm averse to taking a walk down memory lane. Okay. But ere I regale you, we must take our repast. Emil, here. I hate to turn down food, but I'd prefer to have this conversation in the back room. <laughs> Please, I'm really hungry. No, he all wins. Right, all right, a repast it is. She's going to spoil her nephew, Silly. I'll send word to Erinville so the others can stop worrying. That's, yeah, that's a good show. If I might prevail upon your assistance, I shall whip up my most delectable specialty. Oh. It's got a, uh, a frame that looks a little bit like a, uh, a mammal jaw, actually. I don't know if that's important or not. Ingredients, okay. What do you have in mind? Uh, yam and pumpkin. People in the outskirts should be willing to share their harvest. Okay. I'll say procure some woolback meat. Raising on the slopes outside of town. It's readily available, makes a good substitute. Thank you kindly. Okay, so wait, we're going to... Okay, so wait, what am I killing? A wool back. Yeah, that does I was supposed to say, that doesn't look good. Yeah, you look dangerous. time yeah, let's drop that it's not efficient but that's a young one so hard ok 
Okay, I'm more interested in uh, what someone has to say, though. Hey, buddy. Wine, okay. Good heavens, you have such choice cuts. No one handled yourself in battle over at 400 years ago. Recruited you into the Royal Knights. Okay, I don't need the shoes. Okay. Rings are portion, glorious bounty, growing playing. Ample leftovers to share with the good folks. The drift downs, always appreciate a warm meal. Exhausted our supply of kindling electro. Search houses yonder for more. Okay. Okay. Thank you. It's just a bunch of defective. So, whatever this stuff is, they have enough of it now that they don't care enough to come out and, like, salvage these defective sentries. Which is also interesting to me. Hammer time! Hey, oh, there's some more. Okay. Well, there's a uh, active etherite current. Again, sorry, not sorry. I'm not going to uh, collect all of those. Oh, okay, there's more there as well. But I'm going to go grab this because it'll bother people. But yeah, they've got like a generator up the side of the house, okay. Mm. Oh, pardon me. Okay, let's just go for a sprint here. And, okay, let's see what I can find. Oh lord. Yeah. Oh, there's the other one. Okay, nice. Yep, there you go, kiddo. It's 
Let's a lot of lightning. Okay. Everything you need. New mine. Relax. Be able to serve shortly. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is the kind of thing families do. So we have meals together to talk about what's on our mind. So you ate with your father? Them and my brothers. Uh, mostly the head of Resolve. And I doing the talking, though Kona and the head of Reason occasionally joined in. And Zerolja spoke when he was spoken to. You have two papas, does that mean? Uh, one is yours, the other is my father's. Uh, oh, no, no, both are our father. He's what our people call blessed siblings of a Volja with two heads. Uh, Zerolja is, a tr is his true-born child. Lakona and I were adopted, so I don't share the same blood. Doesn't make us any less family. What matters is that our hearts are connected. That resolve taught me that. You have someone like that too, a person you think of, you think is family, even though you don't share the same blood. That's a good question. Oh, <laughs> Alizé blushing. <laughs> what about you? Yep. I'd like to meet them one day. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping we could be family, you and I. Tell me about yourself. You want to know about me? Well, yeah. I do. I want to know... All about you, things you love, things you hate, everything, anything and everything. I want to know all about you too. It reminds me, we we're hoping to hear your story too, Otis. Wish people were that mine is a tale. Be long in recounting. Uh, before lightning had altered the world, I was appointed Lord Captain of the Royal Knights. Uh, we're talking hundreds of years prior to the Calamity, right? Indeed. Earlier still, when I assumed this mechanical form, 454 years ago. Ooh. Then you used to be a normal person. Oh yes, I was once flesh and blood like you, and... I proudly served as a knight of Alexandria. Okay. So rather than a machine that behaves like a person, you are, are an actual person. How is this possible? Uh, it's only natural that you are confused. Share my tale to the end, and all shall become clear. Is he like Fugitoid from Ninja Turtles? Or is he more like... Uh, uh, more like Aaronville's mom? Duty of the Royal Knights to protect the Royal Family. My time, that was uh, their Majesties, King and Queen, and their only child, Her Highness the Princess. Okay. By then, every nation of our star embroiled in some manner of conflict over Electro. Thus was our kingdom drawn into war. Okay. It was the catalyst for the greatest calamity uh, that altered the environment. Countless countrymen lost their lives amid the chaos. King and Queen among them. Uh-oh. Our blessing, we were able to protect a princess who then uh, rose to the occasion, brought hope to her people. Those trying times, kind-hearted was the young queen that, at her behest, we even took in refugees from enemy nations. Sadly, her reign was cut short, like many others. Uh, her body had been ravaged by lightning, then one day she collapsed and passed away. Tragic. 
Ah. Uh, there was there a citizen whose eyes remained dry, and many a moon was spent constructing a great tomb worthy of her memory. Okay. Yet I clung to hope still, for while Her Majesty was on her deathbed, the kingdom's finest scientist had succeeded, had successfully extracted her soul. Uh oh. Did we hear that right? Extracted her soul? Our flesh may wither and die, but so long as we are remembered, we may live on. Uh, this age-old belief has always comforted our people, but as casualties mounted in the wake of the calamity, we sought to make, uh, make it into reality through the power of Electro. In time, we succeeded in developing the means to preserve the soul, and it was used to spare the queen eternal death. Uh, yet it wasn't enough to simply prevent the soul's departure, for the ultimate goal was to recreate a person as they were in life, and this required uh, that their memories be further extracted from their soul. Many more years of research to make, uh, make this possible, by which time I had become a gray old man. With my days numbered, I did not hesitate to volunteer myself as a test subject for the procedure. Uh-oh. So it was that I attained this vessel. By my successful rebirth, I paved the way for those who are, uh, who are recreated from the memories of the departed. Oh, so you were a test subject. The Endless, they are called. If your tale is true, then the queen that your people brought back to life. Spleen, probably. Or Sphine. It'd be Sphine, wouldn't it? Oh, you know Her Majesty as well. My description of her boundless kindness must have paled in comparison to what you no doubt felt in her presence. I haven't met her myself, I confess, not since assuming my current form. Wouldn't want to frighten the living daylights out of her. Oh, buddy. Yep. That one's, uh, hmm, I mean, she's 400, yeah, like I said, uh, I was making the Resident Evil joke the other day about Red Queen, whatever, but, um, this might not be very inaccurate. The Endless. So all this time, Sphine wasn't alive. She lives, yet she does not. Uh, tis immediately difficult, uh, is admittedly a difficult distinction to make. Having inherited the memories of a departed soul, an endless feels, thinks, and acts precisely as that person would. In that sense, I believe they are alive. The Alexandrians know about this, right? It can't have gone unnoticed that Sphine is perpetually youthful. No one really thinks about the endless. People who wear regulators don't even think about death. Everyone sees that the queen doesn't change, but they just accept it. To them, it's just who she is. Oh, it's because of the regulators. Uh-huh. Well, there should be as many endless as those, uh, as those who have died, I believe. They are limited in where they can exist. Queen Sphine is unique uh, in her ability to appear before you. Uh-oh. Strictly speaking, I myself am not an endless. Uh, they are created using memories extracted from a soul, but my entire soul is placed inside a machine. Oh. Being inside a machine makes you different? How? Well, I do not understand the finer points. My life is bound to this vessel. If it breaks down, then I would be uh, then it would be over for me, uh, much like it being a flesh and blood, hardly an endless, unchanging life. I'll sure you, I sure you'll agree. An endless, unchanging life. I can't help but be reminded of the Aya. Yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah. Did mom and the others know all about all this? Considering their extensive and in their intensive intelligence gathering, I'd be surprised if they didn't. For now, let's share what we've learned with Krail and Raha. I can't help but have misgivings about this. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I need a new hat. Nahe, is that you? Good gods, Ellen Nespia. It's been too long, my friend. Where have you been all these years? What have you been doing with yourself? Hold on. They say Queen Sphin has guests from outside the barrier. That's you, I gather? <laughs> it seems so. I'm looking for my mother. Do you know where she is? Your mother? <laughs> Sorry, but what was she like again? Uh oh. What? It's Kavkiwa. You know. The one who was too adventurous by half? Who, who journeyed with the Dawn Servant? Hmm. It's not ringing any bells. You can't be serious. Ours was a tiny little village. Surely you remember her. I, I really don't. It's all a blank. Hmm. Is anyone else here from the village? Hey! Uh -oh. Huh? Ellen Espia? Huh? I'm looking for Kafkiwa. Where is she? Uh oh. Wh what's this all of a sudden? Who's Kafkiwa? Oh, right. This. This cannot be. So mom's dead, and her memory's in that robot. Is that it? of the departed are taken away oh buddy no Sorry, buddy. That's it's not the way you want to find that out. Right? Okay. They became a tad subdued at the end. Thoroughly enjoyed our repast together. We did too, Otis. To hear about the endless was something of a shock. Uh, we likewise enjoyed your company. Above all, I'm glad that you and I could talk, little Ja. Uh, we're going to get along great. I just know it. You you think so? Happy for you, my boy. Now then, I presume returning to Everkeep would mean to accompany you at least part of the way. Okay. I mean, not to be that guy, but I can teleport. Um, let's use this, I guess. Okay. Dang. It's fine. It doesn't matter to me if she's an endless or if she's alive like you or me or not. I've seen enough to know that she has a good heart. Uh, what worries me is 
the burden she bears, we still uh, don't know what it is. I expect that there are things she can't tell us, not with Zerolja watching. But at the very least, I'd like to know what the endless are to her. Sorry, I didn't mean to delay us. I just felt the urge to share my thoughts with you. By the way, let's quick stop the drift down. Just want to tell everybody. All right. Okay. And as usual, I'm just going to hop back on the motorcycle and... Okay, I go this way, yep. Yeah. Uh, I think I have to go up here, yes. Okay, nice. Or keep ward. Okay. Right? Yeah, okay. Not crazy. There we are. Okay, we are almost there. Oh. Thanks to you all as well with the boy. Leap to hear that. No, he has family. Worries for him. Jatu must be glad. I hope so. I'll try not to rush or force anything, though. It's for him to decide what I am to him. My, what a pleasant surprise to meet you in these parts. Oh, hello. Hey, what are you doing here? Visiting my people? Or are you doing the same, perchance? Suppose we are, yes. Okay. Something I'd like to, uh, we'd like to talk to you about. Could we have a word in private? Okay. This could get awkward. So you know about the Endless. Uh, while we may not discuss it openly, my people will have surely noticed that I haven't changed for hundreds of years. I've made no attempt to conceal my nature. If I may ask, though, who was it that told you about the Endless? Only if you should be familiar with the concept. I'm afraid I can't say. I bear no ill will towards this mysterious individual, lest that be your concern. I'm merely curious. Miss Fiend, you care for your people, that much is plain. And I assume you care for the Endless, too. Earlier in Everkeep, there was something you wanted to tell us. Uh, what was it to do with them? The Endless are dear to me, or are as dear to me as my living citizens. They are as much my family, uh, but they can only be sustained by meeting certain exact requirements. Thus far we've managed to do so. Uh, but should more people die, I fear we would be uh, pushed beyond our limit. Their preservation demands vast amounts of energy. Energy, I don't understand the workings of it all, but is there something to do uh, but is there something we can do to help? Then 
Would you be willing to become an Alexandrian citizen? Oh, would you be willing to become Alexandrian citizens? I have my nation, my people to protect. I can't just become Alexandrian. Indeed, I, indeed, I suppose you cannot. First you tell us you want to make peace, then you tell us to go home. What exactly is it you want? Same as you. Of course, to protect my people. Yeah, this is what I think it is. That, I cannot say. I did not ask that you understand. I do not understand. Oh, I do not ask that you uh, understand or like me, but I wish. I wish we had been born on the same side of it. Oh, no. What do you mean by that? Wait, Sveen. No. <laughs> No, that's no bueno. Uh, kept everyone waiting long enough. Let's continue on to whoever keep. Yep. Let's not tell Otis about our conversation with Sveen. I don't want to risk causing him pain. Yeah. I have a weird feeling we're gonna have to kill the Red Queen here, gang. Um, but, or at least we're gonna fight Queen Sveen at some point, but can't, uh, can't say exactly when, but kind of feels like that might be the case. That's kind of feels like what we might be leading up to. There we go. Why don't you come with us? You might get to see Sphinx. Ah, tis a magnanimous and much appreciated offer, but I must decline. Oh. A part of me longs for an audience with Her Majesty. It is true, yet. Though it be in my previous life, I failed to protect my queen. I couldn't bear to show my face before her. <laughs> Such an uncomely one, besides. Oh, buddy. <laughs> All right. If that's how you feel, we won't force you. But rest assured, we'll visit with Gulja. And we hope you'll cook for us again. Oh. It would be my pleasure. You are welcome to bring other comrades should you so desire. The more the merrier. You're gonna need a bigger ramshackle house there, bud. I've been looking all over for you. Nostalgia, was it? What's the matter? <sighs> it's Zeralja. He marches to Vanguard. Oh. So he's done waiting. But why weren't we alerted sooner? Our transmissions are being jammed. The lookouts couldn't get through to us. Ayakwe is at Vanguard too, but I can't reach her. Oh, what are we to do? Okay. Stay calm. Kafkiwa has yet to be alerted, yes? Take her to the back room as fast as you can. Our link pearls may still work. I'll try contacting those in Tuliolo. Mm -hmm. Otis, I need you to keep Guloja safe. You needn't ask. 
I want to go with you. Oh no, buddy. Absolutely not. It battles no place for you. Kruja. The people of the outskirts must be evacuated. For this crucial task, I require your assistance. Remember, when battle is at hand, anything can happen. Caution is as valuable as any blade. That's true. Yes, sir. Oh, buddy. I managed to get hold of Alpha now. He'll inform Kona. Good. How's the situation in Tulichola? There's nothing to worry about, or so my brother assured me. With such short notice, though, I doubt they'll be fully prepared. They'll be ready, I'm sure of it. Vow of reason is not to be underestimated. Mm -hmm. Coming, Soralja, and we will finish this once and for all. Okay. So we're getting a, another trial here in a minute. Is that moment of truth? Hold down Soralja here. Lee had to do that. Okay. Bone white dye, honey yellow cream. Shop selling price none. Wait, how do you get this die then? Okay, I just got a. Oh, right, I just got die. Duh. Several cutscenes will play in sequence. Okay. Set aside sufficient time. Protector and destroyer. Okay. have a request to make of you. For parts of old Jai, you must let me face him alone. Okay. It's far too dangerous. Why put yourself at such a risk? We have two priorities. First is to hold Zorolja within the dome and protect Tuliola. The second is to free Wahiwe if she's been captured. Make sure we succeed. I need to play uh, the worthy foe for Zorolja. If, if I come at him with help, He'll likely lose interest and proceed his attack on the city. Okay. Tuli Olalo's better prepared this time. It's true that it would uh, be best to avoid another battle. Oh, even if. Okay. Uh, and failing that, we might at least weaken Zorolja. I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going into this without a strategy. Our time in the dome has given us uh, invaluable insights into Alexandrian culture. The use of regulators for one, the secret to Zorolja's strength. Then you mean to... That's right, if I destroy his regulator, he'll be unable to draw upon souls. We'll see how much he wants to duel after that. Yeah, we believe in you. Uh, it's true that this is your fight. Maybe just handle it as your decision. We see you struggling or attempts to call in minions. We'll go to your aid. Fair enough. Okay. Together with Kona, I'll keep Tulio all safe. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah, go for it, Hokage. It's not a lot of soldiers. Hello. <laughs> you disappoint me, Uklamat. We are foes, yet you had my admiration for defeating father and claiming the throne. But instead of coming for me, you gallivant with the resistance. Do I intimidate you? Jeez. I 
I am here, brother. I did not run, nor hide. I have come to kill you. Let her go. Your quarrel is with me. And will you settle it one on one? Or call upon all and sundry yet again? Not that it would make any difference. That's that's funny coming from you. No. Like Papa did, I'll face you alone. Well, you mean I'll face you really? alone, okay. You believe you stand a chance. Have you forgotten how it ended, father? I remember you couldn't win without relying on other people's souls. Alone, I may be weak, but so are you. So be it. Do not regret your decision. Oh. Release her. Oh, thank you. Oh, I thought I was done for. You don't. Oh, let's say. <laughs> Had you let her die, you could have dealt me a telling blow. Your compassion will be the end of you. I'm not letting anyone else die. And you, you will never surpass Papa. But I have. With these very hands, I slew him. His body may be gone, but his spirit lives on in us. The Yokui's delusion is catching, I see. Oh. It's no delusion. Papa's love for Tuliola gives me strength even now. Ah! Come, let's get this over with, for my people and Sveen's. Oh. How gullible you are. All of this is Sveen's doing. Yeah, that's what I thought. Her objective is to harvest all life outside the barrier. Our interests happen to align, hence our alliance. Liar! Sveen would never do that! Yeah, she would. She said so. The King of Resolve speaks the truth. Called it. <laughs> How did she? She's not real. Well, sort of. The attack on Tural was no less my desire than Zoralja's. You said you wanted none of this. It was a farce from the very start. Yes, I used you. So it was all just a lie then? What you said about loving your people as family? about wanting to see them smile? I do this for them. For what it's worth, I'm yep. sorry I deceived you. But I had no choice. Yeah, I called it. If I'm to save my people, I must take the lives of yours. Oh, need more souls. Behold, Wuklamat, the benevolent Queen's Fiend. An illusion that orchestrated a massacre. Endless, or machine, 
or whatever you are now. You bear the memories of the person you once were. You should still have a heart. When you speak of slaughtering my people, do you feel nothing? Yeah, not really. Nothing is dearer to me than my people. It matters not whether they are living or endless. As queen, I will do anything to protect them. If it were you, could you have found another way? With your strength, could you have held fast to that which is dear without sacrifice? What exactly do you seek to do? What are you protecting your people from? Death. You waste your words. There is no turning back. Yeah, you, you kind of deserve that. Is this the strength that the love of Tuli Yulal lends you? A weak ruler walks a path of ruin. Tell me, which of us is worthy of their throne? I already know it will never be you. Oh. As long as you think only of yourself, you'll never be worthy. You'll never surpass father or me. <sighs> you can't rely on souls anymore. It's over. Don't think you've won yet. Oh no, far from it. I mean, he's got that weird armor, so that might actually do something. Give the order to the fleet. Raise Tuli Yulol to the ground and harvest every last soul. It is over for Tuli Yulol. Your works, your people, all will be ash before the day is done. Mm. Don't tell me you've forgotten. I'm not the only Dawn's servant. Uh oh, wait, am I playing Kona this time? God, I... Not that good at being a machinist. I mean, I know Astinian's badass, but I think those are just a few too many ships for him. <laughs> more money for those they, they're coming <sighs> well come on then you tin bastards if I didn't know better I'd say you're enjoying yourself. I'm Head Sauro. Nothing gets a hunter's blood pumping like a little danger. <laughs> well now, it seems we have that in common. I haven't felt this alive in a good while. Yeah, it's because that's like the third line in the expansion you've had, I think. Like...
Robots don't seem to be doing too well. That's the spirit. We promised Valcona we deliver him a mountain of scrap, and I'm not about to let these hollow men make a liar out of me. Could also be because these things seem to be using the Zap Brannigan approach of just wave after wave of their men at them. Like. Oh, there you go. Hey, kid. The ones below are yours. You got it. Wait. What do you mean below? Oh, buddy. Every day. Yeah, you probably don't have a lot of dragoons over here. Oh, there are more of them, okay. Hardly sporting. And this, despite our best efforts to thin the enemy ranks. Oh. While it's not quite what we had planned, I'm glad we chose to remain in Tural. As am I. T'was an unexpected but welcome opportunity to join in the defense of this realm. Yeah. And to his credit, Kona did ask very nicely. Still. It's a pity his brother had to delay our pleasure jaunt, but business always comes first. Yeah, uh, you get him, dads. Yeah. Make Green proud. Oh, there's gonna be a lot more damage here, though. Yeah, okay. Squander it. That's I fair. I thought you of all people would come to my rescue. Pakul Chacha. Thank you. Oh, still rings odd in my ears. The thank yous. But I could get used to it. Looks like the old man still got a couple of moves left. We're holding our own against their infantry. But what of that monstrosity and its escort? If they start bombarding us with cannon fire, we'll have no means of fighting back. Worry not. We have a countermeasure. We do? Oh, hey, yeah, I guess we do. It's Vritra? A bleeding dragon. Oh, buddy. 
I'm tearing up just hearing the uh, hearing the music. Yolal has entered into an alliance with Rads at Han. A wise and timely decision on Valcona's part. God, this music. <laughs> oh, right. The dragon song. So he can call to other dragons from uh, across the star. Never forget this debt. We will hold out Lamachi. Oh, you're doing a good job. So keep your eyes forward and do what only you can do. All right, let's do this. this. And return home safe and sound. Yep. Yeah, god damn it, team. Freaking weaving in the uh the endwalker theme here. Okay, so I'm guessing that happened like immediately. Yeah. Report from the fleet. The enemy has offered unexpected resistance. We've been forced to withdraw. <sighs> Useless. All of you. My people. Out of my way. Yeah, I don't think we can stop him. in its duty it is the charge of the king of resolve to clean up its mess to achieve victory by any means necessary sir alja to ever keep initiate court blood uh, i don't like the sound of that execute all civilians and commandeer their souls Oh, that's not great. No! Damn you! Stop! Please, Father, stop! Kalucha! I told you not to come! Kalucha? You must flee, Kalucha! It isn't safe! I'm not going anywhere! I have to stop my father. Uh, ooh, um, I am not your father. Let him go. Using a child as a shield. Have you no shame? No. 
Release him at once, or you shall answer to me! Pitiful relic. Kneel before your king. Uh oh. Otis? What's wrong? Find me at the top of Everkeep. Dungeon? There, we will determine who is fit to rule. Yeah, she's gonna help him. Well, yeah, it's because uh, she has a an ever growing, like almost like hate. You know, the the traditional like Hades. She has a an ever growing demand to uh, be able to potentially keep all these people if they do pass on in this like quote-unquote like endless state well she'd have an ever increase an ever uh, increasing then demand for energy hurry back to ever keep nothing of others lives kill his own people good part of his army and notice among them let's take care okay so we're like i'm guessing just a dungeon oh just a scenario okay yeah okay Buddy. I have no more use for you. Be gone. Father, wait. Father. Otis, Mamachi. You have to stop him. You have to. Oh, buddy. I'm sorry. That's rough. Oh, it even just goes dark and oof. What have you done? Sveen, can't you order them to stand down? The King of Resolve holds military authority. I cannot overrule his commands. If there's something you can do, then do it. Your crimes are beyond forgiveness, but your people are innocent. <gasps> yeah, I hope you don't mind if I obliterate your army. Like... <laughs> can wait. When you said that you wanted to protect your people, I trust you weren't lying. Of course not! There's nothing I wouldn't do for them! Then let's split up and get to work. 
split up, but you can do. Okay. Huh. Yeah, this feels kind of finalish, but this is only like level ninety-eight. Please, everyone, lend me your strength. Please block. Okay. Right. Let's deal with these ones first. Okay. Somebody crying out if you're in pain, please hold on. You're safe now. Be at ease. No souls left if I get killed again. Take deep breaths. Majesty is unharmed. Raise, don't worry about me. Okay. Okay, there's Kryle. Okay, I was like, uh, Ryle and who? something. Okay. Looks like that does it for this area. Look, the king's forces are on the move. There are still civilians on True View. Well, we can't leave the wounded. Let's divide into two groups. 
Kryl, Raha, please stay here and render aid. The rest of us will go and deal with the machines. Okay. All right. Yeah, sorry, Kryl, you get to sit out again. <laughs> Not your turn, I guess. Oh, Otis, buddy. Otis! You've got to wake up! Otis? Oh, crud. Don't make me say it again, isn't it? Damn it. Okay. Ow. Time. This would say, please don't hurt me. Step out of it, Otis. Don't you recognize us? First formation. Show them a nice power. Okay. Something about him is familiar, but it couldn't be.
right? Okay. Right, he's deactivated. It should be safe to approach. Remember you, Otis, so please remember yourself. You're a proud knight of Alexandria, a man who lives to serve the kingdom and its subjects. Uh oh. There you go, buddy. Otis! Pray, stand back, Your Majesty. I am Sir Otis Bologna, Lord Captain of the Royal Knights of Alexandria. That's her to seen better days, buddy. Okay. Let's try this again. Another tank. <laughs> okay, give me a second. Uh, I'll paint a picture. Okay, can I can target the frickin' enemy? Somebody's having fun. It's building up energy. How care? Nah, I'm going to die. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Okay. Let's we'll say oh good lord what was that? Um Yeah, I'm aware. There's way too many of these fucking things.
Yeah, we're failing here, guys. Now nah, we're just done. Yep. Yeah, there's no way you can deal with... You can't do anything about that. <laughs> Not good. At this rate. Yep. Okay. Oh my god, stop fucking making me move, god damn it. <laughs> Otis, you must stop. Your body can't survive this. Hey, I cannot yield. Even should it cost me my life. Oh my god. Hog her off with the fucking targeted lightning all the fucking time. Yeah, I fucking hate a lot of these fights. They are not... They are not designed for characters who have to sit still all the fucking time. They're designed for characters like the ranged, uh, ranged physical DPS who can just move and do all their damage all the fucking time. It's really annoying. Like... Oh, buddy. I say I really hate this mask, though. Thank you, Lord Captain, for the delicious repast, for everything. The old units do not have regulators. Their souls cannot be recovered. He is gone. The Otis who so valiantly fought for us. Uh -huh. I'm truly grateful for your help. Would that I had the time to thank you properly. I'm afraid I cannot linger. There are urgent duties I must perform. Hey, wait! Really glad they have tons of those that they can just discard everywhere she wants to go. Fine, but Otis is so he's the one who was looking after Galulja. Thanks to you, Solution Nine has been spared the worst, but the situation on the other levels is grim. 
We're currently assessing the full extent of the casualties. In the meantime, could you help us treat the wounded? Okay. I really want to get the opportunity to, uh... Okay. Thank you. Uh, where is it? I don't think I can edit a glamour plate out here. Okay. I might do it later. I'm trying to achieve by slaughtering his own people. He's still bent on surpassing Papa is clear, but why this massacre? I don't understand. Uh, only guess at his intent, but his obsession must be strong indeed to endure after 30 years. Now isn't the time to ponder such thing that people need our help. Uh, I don't think direct hit works for me. So I take that. The hearing regulators, the people of Alexandria have been spared the fear of death. It's because the device not only resurrects you, it so erases your memories of the departed. The very notion of dying would have become vague if not forgotten. To be killed over and over, I can't imagine how traumatized the survivors must be. Uh, even if they're not physically hurt. Citizens are part of their queen to console them, but where is she gone? I don't know. There are other districts, perhaps she's checking on them in any case. Too much to handle, countless people. Concentrate on true view, okay. I still think we're fighting uh, Queen Sveen at some point, but I won't say that I'm 100% sure of it, but about 90% sure, pardon me. They're still alive, thank goodness. Makes no sense. What right did the king have to destroy our lives like this? Give us back our peace. Uh, leave us out of your damned war. You all more right, I think. You were fighting with Queen's Fiend, weren't you? Are the rumors true, then, that Her Majesty isn't a living person? Her actual body is elsewhere, in the cloud or some such. She uses a special power to appear before us. I'd always wondered why the Alexandrians never questioned her true nature. Now I think I understand why she personally fought to protect us. That's enough for me to know she's a worthy ruler. Doesn't matter what she is. Yeah, well, that might matter. Hey, buddy. I've been so scared in my life. I died in an accident before, but it's nothing compared to this. To be killed again and again and again. It was a living nightmare and King's role jumps behind it, you say. Since he suddenly uh since he suddenly appeared, he's done nothing good for us. Uh, he thinks only of war ordered more soldiers be produced, and now he's unleashed them on us. He's no king of mine, he's a murderer, someone needs to make him pay. Well we're gonna work on that, I think. Okay, God, I still have an entire area to go. Where are we going from here? Alright, tacos. Uh, that's where it tells me to go, so that's where we're going. That's somewhat under control. Alzi and the others are still out there. Couldn't help uh, but worry about cool jaw. That's another word. Small wonder given his ordeal. 
talk to him about everything great as he is. There's no use hiding it. He'd eventually find out and it hurt him even more. Above all, he needs to know he isn't alone. Hey, little buddy. Sorry, your dad's an asshole. <laughs> Lots of people are dead because of my father, aren't they? Yeah. That. And Otis. He's gone too, isn't he? Yeah. I'm sorry. My father is a bad man. That's why you're going to kill him, aren't you? Oh, sweetheart. Look. Forget it. I don't care anymore. Oh, buddy. Listen to me, Kulucha. You're right. We're going to confront your father. He invaded Tulihyola and hurt my people. As vow of resolve, it's my duty to bring him to justice. Don't you think of him as family anymore? After the attack, I was filled with rage. I told myself over and over that he's no brother of mine. But it isn't so simple. No matter what I feel or say, all those years I spent striving to live up to his example, they won't just disappear. Yeah. What's more, it's because we're family that we have to correct each other when someone goes astray. That's why I must confront my brother. Like your grandfather did, even though it cost him his life. But Otis is gone now. If my father was gone too, then I'd have no one. Oh, buddy. What are you saying, Goluja? Take a look around. Oh, buddy. You have us, Golocha. All of us. We'll be with you. Through thick and thin. You're not alone. You'll never be alone again. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. Get some rest, school job. You've been through a lot. Do feel a bit sleepy. Room in the back you can use. 
Save as, as, as a mother. Let me get you started. Thank you. Uh, without you and yours. Oh. Till the others return. Oh. Uh, you want to take rest while you can. Isn't over yet after all. Okay, it looks... Therefore, otherwise, feel free. Back rooms. As the image you say, is that still happening? An old worn thing, there's bound to be a few hitches. Nothing to worry about though. Have a meeting to discuss our next moves in a little while, so Okay. Okay, where's Aaron Veal? Onto the summit. Had enough rest, let's round everybody up. Okay. Uh, during your confrontation with him, Zoroldra bade Wolf will not come to the tower summit. As the elevator's been locked down due to the state of emergency. Okay, well, yeah. Working to lift access restrictions, frankly, it's not looking promising. Okay. Any other way we can get to Zerolja? We believe so. Solution 9 occupies. Ever keeps ninth level. Summit, meanwhile, is the twelfth. Map appears to be cut off. Uh, while the King and Queen's residence is believed to be located there, the details are highly classified, hence the lack of map data. Okay. Uh, however, we have reliable intelligence concerning everything up to the eleventh floor. Okay. It's the Orogenics, the facility where souls are separated and refined for use. Oh, that sounds horrible when you just... The process begins at the base with the extraction of souls from regulators and fiends. Souls are then transported up to a etheric separator. Cleansed of memories. Finally packed within soul cells for distribution. 12 for Fend. They've recreated the process by which souls are broken down in the ethereal sea. An affront to nature, I know, but ethical discussions must wait. Salient point is that the facility extends vertically from the 1st to the 11th floor. And to strengthen themselves with the people's souls, as we strongly suspect... Oh, then he's gonna do it down there. Or he's gonna need a lot of soul cells. God damn it. Facility will be operating to process and transport those souls directly to him on the 12th floor. So in order to reach him, make our way through Orogenics. Pardon me. Precisely. As the facility sustains the Alexandrian way of life, security will be extremely tight. If willing to brave that route, we'll back you up as best we can. What do you say? Sounds like dungeon to me. Goes without saying, we're going. Okay. At least... Maybe dungeon? Never had a doubt. 
Having two, you'll need guidance on site. This body makes best suited. Oh, wait. No dungeon? Hold it before you set off, I have to ask. All this time, you've known that Sveen isn't endless, haven't you? Yes, we have. Why didn't you tell us? They didn't seem didn't seem relevant to the matters at hand. More complicated to explain than it was worth, and a distraction from our efforts to deal with the, with Zorulja. Speaking of which, we should get moving. Those who are sallying forth, we gather in front of the tower. Can count on you to provide support from there, yes? Of course. Oh, buddy. I don't think you're super happy. I have this weird, yeah, I have this, like, awful feeling that, yeah, he's just not a happy camper right now. I need to talk to you about, never mind, it can wait. So you wonder, I have no objections to remaining here. Someone needs uh, to keep those in Tulio well informed. Best of luck to you. Oh, buddy. That's rough. I'm pretty sure he knows and he just doesn't know how to confront his mom about it. Right? Like, that, that's pretty awkward, yeah. At least I, you know, I would consider it thus. But, yeah, well. Cool. Uh, yeah, like, story's gotten kind of heavy again. Wondering what the last area is going to end up being. Been accounted for. So in one push, be a grilling cry, climb. The resilient sun. Entrance to our genetics. Back of the Everkeep, reached by water. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I was literally just there. I was sitting there going, "Huh, I wonder if I can like, you know." see the top of this tower here <laughs> that's really funny i didn't even realize it's a dungeon entrance that's hilarious play with tension in the arm a little bit more and so that it doesn't it, uh, moves ever so slightly a lot so during streams so the mission will unfold okay takes deliveries at specific times uh, it is one such time we enter this facility aboard cargo okay pilot the vehicle uh, so you need only sit tight until we arrive at the entrance, okay? Friends in the back rooms create a diversion to steal inside. Make our way to the summit, striking down any foe that bar our path. Okay, that's that's pretty normal. Easy, yes. Easy to say, perhaps, but we'll manage one way or the other. Okay. Contact with the support crew. Uh, use the communicator bar from shale to keep up with. Okay. Grasp of the details. Okay. Into the dungeon we go. Yeah, so the city we were actually in is like above the lightning generator around the disc there. Okay. I didn't quite realize that. That makes more sense than as to how big it is on the inside. OK. 
Okay. Oh, this dungeon's level 99. Oh, okay. It's also the fifth one, so yeah, that makes sense. Um. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Hmm. So yeah. Ah, I think we're, uh, I think we're getting there, although, probably be a, not be a bad place to leave it after this for one more, I think we're gonna have one more after this, yeah, probably call it after the, uh, um, after the dungeon and then, uh, continue next week, probably. Spire Trial. Is that where we're, I don't know. Yeah, that's not where we're going, is it? Mm, eh, whatever. Okay, well... What was that? Why did that... Why did I go red for a second there? Okay. Wait, what? It's because I'm in a dungeon? You? Huh. Oh. Alright, that's why. Okay. That's going to be a great place to leave, I think, for next time. Um, <laughs> the game is telling me I'm done playing for now. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thank you, everybody, so much for watching. And we will continue this next week. Uh, yeah, it'll be next Friday. Um, I will, I'm going to try uh, uh, Back to Binding of Isaac next Thursday. Um, and I'm going to try, uh, there was a, um, mod I saw Sinvic to play that I was like, ooh, this seems neat. It's, uh, it gives, like, passive trees and stuff like that to all the characters and all that and whatnot. And I was like, ooh, this seems really neat. I want to, uh, check this out. Uh, so yeah. Um, anyways. Thank you everybody so much for watching. And I hope you, uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed. And I hope, um... Yeah, I hope uh, your, uh, your your loot is always good. All right, have a good night, everybody. <laughs>